Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm starting a series on my favourite apps, starting with my small time management app, Timer Plus. Time is important. Harvey McKay said, time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. I like to get a lot done, and that means managing my time. My calendar is a very important part of that. And if you're on YouTube, there's a link up here to my episode on Google Calendar and how I manage that part of my time. But there's the short intervals you sometimes have to manage. I really love using Siri for short reminders. Hey Siri, set a 15 minute timer please. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. That works great, you can even do it hands free. The problem appears when you want to set a second timer. Hey Siri, set a five minute timer please. A timer is already running at 14 minutes and 38 seconds. Would you like to replace it? Keep it. Okay. So you can't run more than one timer, which is a little bit annoying. So I use a great free app called Timer Plus. Now this is an ad supported app or you can pay $4.49 to get the ad free version, which I've obviously done at some stage in the past. Timer Plus lets me have multiple different timers running. There's all of these timers that I've preset or I can press the plus button and the quick timer button and simply type in whatever time I want. 42 minutes and 42 seconds and hit start and it will immediately start a timer for that length of time. You can change the order of the timers that are on here. The active timers are always at the top but you can change the order of the others if you need to and you can also set a color dot on any of them if you need to do that as well just to group them for some reason. I've even got one here for the washing machine. When I start a uh, one hour 45 minute load of washing, start the timer, the timer goes off when the washing's done. I mean, the timer has a beep on it itself, but if I'm not in the house, I'm not going to hear it. If I'm out in my office, the alert will go off and I know it's time to go in and hang out the washing. Particularly when the kids were younger, I really loved that I could say, I'll be there in five minutes, set a five minute timer and done. Or you can use the computer for 15 more minutes, set a timer, nothing gets forgotten. It's just a cool little way to make life that much more easy and consistent. Because when I say five minutes, I really like to mean five minutes. I like to value my time and I like other people to value my time. The iPad version looks a little bit different. You can have this great grid view or a straight up and down listing view. And you can add a new timer from the plus in the top left corner or immediately create a quick timer just by pressing the lightning bolt. Other than that, it's the same app. Well, there you go. My favorite app for keeping track of small amounts of time, and large sometimes, Timer Plus. This particular developer doesn't seem to have made an Android version, but there are plenty of Android apps out there that do basically the same thing. Question of the day. Do you use something to manage your time in short increments? Is it Timer Plus or is it something else? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit the like button. It really helps. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about technology, protect yourself from trouble, and fix it when something goes wrong. If you're on YouTube, there's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And a subscribe button down here that will allow you to make sure you never miss out on an episode. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.